biodiversity and need of classification. Last year we learned that all the living organisms on earth have adapted according to geographic regions, food ingestion, defense, etc. Ingestion means taking in food. Defense means to fight against enemy. While adapting, many differences are observed in the organisms of same species too. According to 2011 census, around 87 million species of living organisms are found on the earth, including land and sea. To study such a vast number, it was essential to divide them into groups. So groups and subgroups were created, considering the similarities and differences among the living organisms. So this process of dividing living organisms into groups and subgroups is called biological classification. Five Kingdom System Robert Harding Whittaker 1920 to 1980 was an American ecologist. In 1969, he divided living organisms into five groups. For this classification, Whittaker considered following criteria. 1. Complexity of cell structure Prokaryotic and eukaryotic 2. Complexity of organisms Unicellular or multicellular Mode of nutrition Plants, autotrophic Autosynthetic, autotrophic means organisms that prepare their own food. Fungi, saprophytic, absorption from dead organisms. Saprophytes are organisms that obtain food from dead organisms. Animals, heterotrophic and ingestive. Heterotrophic are organisms that obtain their food from other living organisms. 3. Lifestyle Plants, producers Animals, consumers Fungi, decomposers 4. Phylogenetic relationship Prokaryotic to eukaryotic Unicellular to multicellular Let's have a look at this figure. Five Kingdom System of Classification Living organisms are classified into prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Prokaryotes includes unicellular organisms, which are included in kingdom Monera. Eukaryotes are unicellular organisms or multicellular organisms. Unicellular organisms are included in kingdom Protista. Multicellular organisms includes kingdom Fungi, where cell wall is present but organisms can't perform photosynthesis. Multicellular organisms also include kingdom Plantae, where cell wall is present and organisms can perform photosynthesis. Multicellular organisms also include kingdom Animalia, where there is no cell wall. Kingdom 1. Monera. Try this activity. Take a small drop of curd or buttermilk on a clean glass slide. Dilute it with a little water. Carefully keep a cover slip. Observe it under high power of compound microscope. What did you see? Moving small rod-like microbes are lactobacilli bacteria. All type of bacteria and blue-green algae are included in the kingdom Monera. Characteristics of Monera 1. The entire organisms are unicellular. 2. They may be autotrophic or heterotrophic. 3. These are prokaryotic cells without distinct nucleus or cell organelles. Kingdom 2. Protista Activity Prepare a temporary mount of one drop of pond water on a glass slide. Observe it under low power and high power of microscope. You will find some motile microbes with irregular shape. These are amoebae. 
characteristics of protista 1 protista are single celled organisms with well defined nucleus enclosed in a nuclear membrane 2 they have pseudopodia or hair like cilia or whip like flagella for locomotion 3 autotrophs example euglena bulwarx contain chloroplast 4 heterotrophs example amoeba paramecium kingdom 3 fungi activity take a moist piece of bread or bhakri and keep it in a container with lid for 2 to 3 days after 2 to 3 days a fine cotton thread like tuft is found growing on the surface of the bread tuft means a bunch or collection of threads prepare a temporary mount of few threads from this culture and observe it under the microscope characteristics of fungi 1 these are non green eukaryotic heterotrophic organisms 2 most of them are saprotrophs they feed upon decaying organic matter 3 their cell wall is made up of tough and complex sugar called chitin 4 some fungi are thread like and many nuclei are present in the cytoplasm 5 examples baker's yeast aspergillus that is fungus on corn penicillium mushrooms Though many systems of classification are introduced after the Whittakers, his five kingdom system is widely accepted. Classification of Microbes Among the living organisms, microorganisms are largest in number. Hence, they are classified as follows. Before that, with reference to size of microbes, you need to remember that 1 meter is equal to 10 raised to 6 micrometer, 1 meter is equal to 10 raised to 9 nanometer. Let's now learn the classification of microorganisms. Microorganisms are classified into prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Prokaryotes are bacteria, eukaryotes are protista, fungi, algae. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें ऐसे ही और एजुकेशनल वीडियोस देखने के लिए हमारे चैनल होम रिवाइज को सब्सक्राइब करें